Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So the movie I'm going to be reviewing for you today is a movie that I've seen before, but only once, and that is 2001's Jurassic Park 3. So in this movie, Alan Grant is back, and this takes place eight years after the events at Jurassic Park, and there's a new island filled with dinosaurs, Isla Sorna, so Site B, and Alan Grant said he's never going to set foot on that island. But here comes the Kirbys, Paul and Amanda, who hire him to take uh, to accompany them on the island in order to find their 14-year-old son who got lost paragliding on the island. So they go to the island, and chaos ensues again. So this movie seems to get a lot of negativity and a lot of hate. And it's been talked about as being a horrible movie. I did not see it that way. I actually thought this was a pretty good movie. But before I get into more thoughts on that, we have Sam Neill returning as Alan Grant. You have William H. Macy, who plays Paul Kirby. Tay Leone plays Amanda Kirby. You have Alessandro Nivola, who plays Billy Brennan, who is... a uh, Alan Grant's assistant who accompanies him on the trip. And then you have Trevor Morgan who plays Eric Kirby, the 14-year-old kid. And you have a cameo by Laura Dern, otherwise known as Ellie Sattler. I'm not going to tell you how big the cameo is, but she does make an appearance in it. And this movie is directed by Joe Johnston, who has had a wide variety of movies. I wrote them down. You have uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids from 1989, The Rocketeer from 1991, Jumanji from 1995, Hidalgo from 2004, The Wolfman from 2010, and Captain America, The First Avenger from 2011. It's a wide range, including this movie. As far as ratings go, oh, never mind about that. Forgot to write them down. Doesn't matter. But let's get into thumbs up and thumbs down. The only thumbs down I had for this movie is that it was a little slow at times. Not like intense intensity slow. It just seemed like it was just slow. But it still leads to a lot of thumbs up. I thought it was entertaining. I thought it was intense. I actually liked the story and all the different like twists and turns that happen. And you encounter new dinosaurs. Not like what you've seen like Jurassic World where it's like made up dinosaurs. This is just like a whole new like, two new, different dinosaurs than what you were used to in the original Jurassic Park. Side note, I know, know people might comment this. The reason I'm kind of skipping The Lost World, just for now, is I'm in an upcoming debate movie debate match. And part of, and one of the questions has to deal with... Uh, the greatest Jurassic franchise character. And my opponent has Alan Grant, who is not in The Lost World, but is in the original and in Jurassic Park 3. Just a little backstory. But overall, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. <coughs> Sorry about that. Like I said, I had heard a lot of negativity with this, and... I wanted to see if it really was as bad as people say after 
not seeing it for so long. But I actually enjoyed it. It's not as good as the first one, but it's still a solid movie. So that is my review for 2001's Jurassic Park 3. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fan Z signing off. Have a good night.